Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a, another sit down lesson. Uh, bring up Joel, the third chapter, verse 1, all the way through verse, say, uh, 21. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, in those days and that time, well, I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Right, we represent Judah and Jerusalem, of the respectable 12 tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. And we are the Israelites. This is Joel 3, and verse 2. And I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Jehovah Shabbat's. And I will plead with them. There for my people and for my heritage, Israel, right? We are the children of Israel, the sons and daughters of Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, right? We've been scattered among the nations. Hosea 1 and verse 10 as a prime example, and uh, Isaiah 11 and verse 12 and through verse 13. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land, right? So those nations over there, they have the part of the Lord's land, so basically that land that doesn't belong to them. Joel, that's why he's pleading that's why he's pleading with these nations and gathering them up over there in uh, western Asia Joel chapter 3 and verse 3 and they have cast lot for my people which is the, the children of Israel which is us still to this day it could be uh, financially uh, economically and many other different aspects of that sort and they have cast lot for my people after I give them a boy for a harlot and so Right for a giving a boy for a harley and sold a girl for wine, right? Must get him wine during those ancient times and as recently as well, too. They, they might drink. Joel 3 and verse 4 it says, Yea, what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine, which is the Philistines? Will you render me, right? Which is the Philistines and the uh, Ishmaelites as well, too, and the other nations. It says, will you render me a recompense if you recompense me swiftly and I will return your recompense upon your own head. Right, the other nations, what they did to the children of Israel. Joel 3 and verse 5, because you have taken my silver and my gold, right, the children of Israel, and they carried them into your temple, my goodly present things. This is uh, Joel 3 and verse 6, and it reads, it says, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, right, Judah and Jerusalem. Have you sold unto the Grecians, right? Children of Israel have been sold unto the Grecians, that you might remove them far from their border, right? We've been removed far from our border. So our ancestors, they've been removed far from their border and have been passed on to generations from us. So that shows you that we're speaking uh, scattered among all these nations. And then we've been removed far from our land, even though Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So that shows that we've been speaking different languages, other customs and cultures of the other nations, rather than our actual own language, culture, and customs, you know. But we're starting to uh, slowly but surely increase and coming back of us being the children of Israel, you know. Joel 3 and verse 7, it says, Behold, I will raise them up at a place where you have sold them, right? So the Heavenly Father's going to raise us up at a place what these nations have sold the children of Israel and will turn your recompense upon your own head. Right, so that recompense will become returned upon their own head. So the Heavenly Father, he required that which is past as well too, because he's the Ancient of Days. He required that which is past and what's taking place in modern day times as well too. Because like the scripture says, uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 9, there's no new thing under the sun. And this is, uh, I'm reading again, Joel 3 and verse 7. It says, Behold, I will raise them up out of the place where you have sold them. I'm going to turn your recompense upon your own head. Joel chapter 3, verse 8. And it says, And I will sell your dung, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Siberians, which is people over there in Yemen, to a people far off from the Lord Yahweh has spoken it. Joel chapter 3 verse 9 and it reads it says uh, proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles which is the armies of the other nations prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near and let them come up which is over there in uh, the valley Jehoshaphat 
which is over there in Western Asia, what you would call the modern day term of the Middle East. Well, it's actually Western Asia. This is a uh, Joel chapter three, verse 10. Beat your plowshares and the soils and pull any hooks into spears and let the weak sands grow. Right, these are uh, nations that get building up their nuclear capability. Now we're staying, now we're starting to see let the weak sands grow. That's why we're seeing uh, nuclear esca escalations is up at an all time high over there in that area. And uh, military building up, military training, and military exercises, and uh, military spending and finances. All those three categories that I just named is up at an all time high. And we've definitely been seeing that in the year 2023. And we're going to continue to see that and beyond as well, too, as we entering closer to 2024, you know. <coughs> and this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. Heathen just mean other nations of armies. And gather yourselves together round about. That to cause thy mighty ones, which are the armies of the nations, to cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahweh. This is a, let's see, this is a Joel chapter 3, verse 12. It says, Let the heat be awakening and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Shahweh Shapat. For there I will sit and judge all the heathen ran about, which is the armies of the other nations. And that's why he slowly but surely gathered up, gathered them up over there in that area. That's why we've seen, as of recently, you know, the increasing uh, tensions of the uh, pro-Iranian groups, and you got the United States their coalition forces. Because I, I believe recently you had Australia, they deployed one of their uh, ships over there, right along with India as well too, and other more nations to back uh, the United States as a coalition forces to battle against and, the, you know, to protection of those vessels and ships over there to sail over there in the Red Sea. Because you've been having the, uh, the Houthi rebels been targeting anybody that's affiliated with the United States or Israel uh, affiliations with, uh, I believe, imports, goods, and stuff like that, for an example. So that's why we're seeing increasing escalations building up over there because the Heavenly Father is setting all this up. That's why he's gathering up all the nations over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. This is, uh, go to the next verse, Joel chapter 3, verse 13. Put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripped. Come get you down for the plus is full and the fats overflow for the wickedness is great. Joel chapter 3 verse 14 it reads multitudes and multitudes in the valley decision for the day of the Lord Yahweh is near in the valley decision right so we're seeing increasing uh, growings growing of uh, more and more signs of the day of Yahweh of Israel is near in the valley decision so we're getting closer and closer to that this is uh, Joel 3 and verse 15 it says the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 16, continuing on with the reading. And it says, The Lord Yahweh also shall war out of Zion, because Zion to Zion one, which is a monument of the children of Israel, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, where Jerusalem is a people before as a place. And the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord Yahweh will be for the hope of his people. And the strengthening of the children of Israel. This is uh, Joel 3 verse 17. So shall ye know that I am the Lord Yahweh, your God, Yahweh thy power, the well in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. And this is uh, Joel 3 uh, verse 18. Right, because the nations they are ahead with the tail. Well, very soon that's going to be uh, reversed around. Of Israel is going to be the head, and the nation is going to be the tail. I just want to add an additional note to that through verse 17. This is a uh, go to the next verse of Joel chapter 3, verse 18. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down the new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters and the fountains shall come forth 
out of the Lord Yahweh shall water in the valley Shintim. This is uh, Joel 3 and verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolate. Right, this modern day spiritually Egypt. It's like an ancient Egypt. This is modern day spiritually Egypt. Joel 3 and verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolate and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. Right, book, book of Obadiah explains that as well too. It says uh, right along with uh, 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 7 through verse 9 as well too. This is uh, Joel chapter 3 and verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolate and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their hands. Right. Uh, Ezekiel 35 and verse 5 explains that right along with uh, Zechariah 11 and verse 5 as well too. This is a, uh, let's see, go to the next verse. This is uh, Joel chapter 3 verse 20. It says, but Judah shall the will forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. This is uh, Joel 3 and verse 21. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed for the Lord Yahweh dwells in Zion. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Joel, the third chapter through verse one, all the way through verse 20. I mean, through verse 21, Salaki. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. With that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem HaKadash, Shalom to the uh, elders Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.